Hey everybody, welcome back to Clutch Situation, and today I have a special mechanical pencil that was gifted to me by my best friend DJ. So DJ, thanks for getting this for me, I really appreciate it, and I'm excited to share it with everybody in the audience because this is another one of those machined mechanical pencils that meets a really high standard of quality that I want to share with all of you. And like many of these pencils, it is expensive, and I understand that that isn't everybody's cup of tea, but at the very least, you can watch and find some things that interest you for the future. And uh, I, you know, I don't expect any of you to purchase really expensive mechanical pencils if you can't afford them. Uh, I will have some things coming up on the channel that are much more affordable mechanical pencils in a row. I'm just trying to break things up because after my last video, I have a similar video about P200 series pencils, and I don't want to do them back to back. I want to try to mix them up as much as possible. And I will have a fountain pen video coming up on Clutch Situation, which I have not done a fountain pen video in a really long time. So let's talk about the Wingback Mechanical Pencil. And it came in this little sleeve here, as well as this little container of lead. I'm just going to move that to the side because it's pretty basic. It's a 0.7 millimeter version of a pencil. And here it is. This is steel for its construction, and many of you have heard before that I'm not a huge fan of steel mechanical pencils, but this is a really interesting piece because it is not the longest of mechanical pencils, especially not in the manufactured range. So if we compare it to the spoke for mechanical pencil, it is significantly shorter than it. Uh, and the shorter length really makes for a more interesting weighting than what I've normally seen on the average length mechanical pencil. And so even though this is stainless steel, I actually really like the weighting of this because it is shorter. And so what I want to start with here is I actually want to take it apart because there are a lot of aspects here of the wing back that are really interesting. Now, as I'm unscrewing this, I'll just point out a couple of things. Wing back is a small manufacturer coming out of the United Kingdom, specifically the individual who has designed this mechanical pencil is in central London. And you may be wondering about the top. Do we have an eraser in here? And no, you do not. So that is a downside of this. But I want to point out that all of these wingback mechanical pencils have a rubber ring in uh, separating the machine components so that you get a really nice fit. And the threading on these pencils is what I would consider to be a really good compromise between fine threading, but not so fine that I think that it would damage it. And so this is obviously the lead chamber where you have your lead. And then there's one more joint that we would unscrew here. And you can see that there's a little rubber gusset right there as well. So we'll unscrew this. There's another little rubber ring here as well. And the action on these pieces, they fit together so nicely. And that's what I would say is probably the huge benefit of this wingback mechanical pencil. I'm not exactly sure what kind of mechanism we have here. It kind of reminds me of a Schmidt mechanism, but it's not exactly that based upon the lead sleeve, I don't think. Uh, and so if anybody has any thoughts in the comments as to what side of, uh, sort of mechanism that, that might excuse me, this might be, I'm all ears, okay? So I'm basically just gonna reassemble. There's really nice fittings here is the theme. The other cool thing about these wingback pencils is that they are all engravable. And my friend, being the awesome guy that he is, went ahead and got this engraved for me. And so one side of the pencil, let's see if I can get it to focus on camera here. Come on, buddy, let's do this. We're getting it wing back, okay, and then we turn it over, and it says Michael, my friend. And so, DJ, you're my best friend, buddy. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, the knurling on this pencil is really great. It's the same kind of sort of sharp biting that I really like in a mechanical pencil. The grip on it is really nice. We have an extendable lead sleeve that is a drafting lead sleeve, so you can use this up against a ruler, so a really good design there. And let's, you know, let's do a click test on it. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And so we're looking about, I would say, a full centimeter on that, maybe a little less than a centimeter. So not the finest control on the click, but given all the other parts of this package, I'm definitely not complaining about it at all. And so let's do a little bit of writing with it while we are here. And so this is the Wingback Mechanical Pencil. And this is stainless steel. Okay. Writing experience. I've had a couple weeks with this pencil and I've written with it a lot. And right away from the beginning, I could tell that it was awesome. So writing experience. Uh, I'm going to give this a great... And this is a really interesting pencil because even though it's a racer list, there are so many aspects of the features of this that really speak to me in terms of what this pencil is all about and the feel of it in my hand. It is just so natural to me. And I think it's because of the overall shorter package. It makes the stainless steel not too heavy based upon what my personal preferences are. And so I'm giving it a great quality. Superb. Very well machined. I love all those little rubber rings separating all the pieces. It really just makes sure that everything fits together snugly. Features. Well, for this, we got to go with a good, pretty standard good. Okay. And so we have the retractable lead sleeve. We have a nice knurling, no eraser. It's very nice as an overall piece with the engraving and everything. And so the fact that you can get it engraved is a slight little positive for it. Cost, this is where I know I'm going to lose a lot of you, okay? And it really depends upon which flavor you get. It comes in either brass or stainless steel at one price. And it comes in black steel in another price and for brass and stainless steel we have a price of 95 gbp which is approximately 130 usd that's going to vary with exchange rate of course and then black steel it goes up to 140 gbp and with exchange rate we're at about 190 usd so this is an expensive pencil. It's a luxury item, but also this thing is a tank and it's probably never going to break is going to be my guess. Okay. If I were to make a prediction. And so let's go ahead and run down the pros and cons. Okay. So pros, I'm going to say overall construction. Okay. is superb. Okay, I especially like those little rubber rings in between. So I'm going to say rubber rings ensure a tight joint fit. Okay, I'm also going to add that it has well machined threads, which is something that can be messed up on a mechanical pencil like this. Uh, it's pocket safe. It has a retractable lead sleeve. But it is not without its cons. These are going to be pretty, pretty minor. No eraser. If you're going to go all in on a mechanical pencil, you're probably going to carry an eraser with you. Okay. Um... Oh, I forgot to mention up here that we also have potential engraving as a pro. I'm also going to add up here short design makes for weight mediation is what I'm going to say. So if you really like fine things, fine objects, and you've stayed away from stainless steel like I have because of the weighting, this is really going to be a pencil that is going to impress you, I think. Gosh, so many pros, because we also have a really comfortable 
grip. Okay, this, it's, you know, I would consider it to be like the diamond etch pattern for the grip. And it's, it's just lovely to hold in the hand. This is a big thing that I really appreciate on mechanical pencils. I want to have a knurled grip. Um, so we should add the word knurling here. Running out of space a little bit here because of so many pros. So one of the cons is that there's no eraser. Okay. Um, gosh, what other con am I going to come up with here? Oh, one last one. Um, so pocket no pocket clip is going to be a deal killer for some people. But I mean, gosh, from pros to con ratio, I don't know that I've ever had a pencil that this with this big of a ratio of pros to cons. I probably have. You know, it's not like I went back and watched the prior videos. And so for this, the big question is, is this going to make the top 15? Those of you who were watching for my yearly video, my June video in which I tackle my top 10, well, this year I upgraded it to a top 15 and... You bet this is going to make the top 15. I'm not exactly sure where it's going to go. As a teacher, I've been stupid busy lately. Uh, I'm going to be honest with y'all. 2021 has been worse than 2020 from the perspective of a teacher. Um, you know, and my outcomes with students have been excellent. The kids are the best part of what I do. Always have been, probably always will be. Um, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a huge drain on me you know, teaching during this time. And so I love my students. I love interacting with them. I feel alive when I'm in the classroom. I think that if you asked my students, they would probably acknowledge that I look alive when I'm in the classroom uh, because that's, you know, where, where it needs to happen to help support them during these difficult times as well. Um, you know, teachers would love it if people would support us and we're not really feeling it. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so I will look back at some point when I have a little time and I'll figure out where I'm going to put this mechanical pencil in my top 15, but it is definitely going in there. It is an awesome piece of everyday carry. Uh, it's something that, you know, I, I recognize is going to be out of the price range of a lot of people. Okay. And I'm not trying to make this an exclusives only channel or something like that. I will have significantly cheaper mechanical pencils on the channel coming up here shortly. Okay. But that also doesn't mean that I'm not going to reveal things that, that I find that I enjoy because I've had a lot of mechanical pencils on this channel that are expensive. But if it was like the one pencil that you were gunning for, that you would, it would be the only thing that you would have to buy and you'd be set for life. You know, it, it might be worth an investment to somebody, you know, you save up, um, could take you a while. I acknowledge that, but, um, uh, there, you know, I, I think that this channel attracts people that respect quality. At least that's part of what my hope is. And, you know, we're all, we're all looking for something quality and oftentimes you got to pay for quality is the truth of it. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoy this wingback mechanical pencil and DJ, thank you so much for gifting this to me. I love you friend and I appreciate your contribution and I especially appreciate that you got this engraved, uh, for me. And, uh, this is an amazing addition to my collection and I see my, I see myself using this pencil very, very often. And so I hope those of you in the audience, uh, get a, uh, Thrill out of uh, taking a look at it as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.